guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta, or you can say Marta if you can roll your R's. Either way is okay by me. So there is this trend going around called I tried to follow a tutorial by blank, like whoever YouTuber that you pick. I love, I love this idea. I've been watching all of them and they are freaking hilarious and um, like really informative and like you get to learn from other people's techniques and learn something new and I learned a bunch of new things today when I chose to do Pia Muhlenbeck, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I have been following Pia for at least two years now, maybe three years now on all social media. I love her. I've spoken with her quite a few times over the years because I reach out to her and she always responds. Um, now she's getting bigger so she has less time to respond to people but I love her. She's such an inspiration because she like is a boss lady. Like she went to school to become a lawyer. She just found this passion for the environment and so she made eco-friendly yoga mats and started selling them, started her own business and then through that she became popular on Instagram because she's obviously gorgeous. I'll put a picture of her right there another one right there gorgeous so she quickly became an influencer on social media and her and her now fiance just like travel the world work with brands take gorgeous pictures because he's a photographer I wish my boyfriend could take nice pictures it's always a struggle so she's very blessed in that department she just is an inspiration so I wanted to give her some PR I want to go check out her channel I will leave the link below for her channel because she's just such a genuine person and and she's Australian so her accent is absolutely beautiful <laughs> so if you want to see how I created this look based off of Pia's and just keep on watching. Stay tuned for the end because I have a giveaway. Okay, let's go. Naked face. Let's go. I have 20% battery, so chop chop. She's so pretty, I can't even handle it. I love her so much. Face. Gotta prime. My Absolutely. Boy said it's a crime not to prime. She said it's a crime not to prime. So now I'm oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just pausing that. So I'm priming with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. She is so cute. I can't even handle it. And she just and goes nice. ham with it. Going ham. I normally just focus here and like tap it in, but we're gonna go ham like my girl Pia. So she's using the Giorgio Mani Foundation. Um, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir because I do know that she's gonna use a lot of creams on top of this foundation, so I wanna make sure I'm using a creamy foundation rather than a matte foundation. Down to my hand. Does that match my skin a little bit? Does that look okay? It's fine. And she's going in with a beauty blender. Just a beauty blender. Just now, that was fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my hold on. Hold on. Does this match my skin tone? I don't even know. I'm so used to putting it on with a brush. Go, go. Go. I'm putting a lot on because I know the beauty blender is gonna soak it all up. Na, 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 na. This stuff smells so good. Go, 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 go. I'm like smacking myself in the face. <laughs> and play. I'm going to go pretty nuts with my contouring, which has a lot of cover in it in and of itself. So the palette I'm using is the Cover FX. I don't have that. Palette. It's like a cream palette, it looks like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of this to start with. And you can see right now, my face is a lot paler. Pause. Okay, so I don't have that cover of fixed contour palette, but I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, which I've never used. Like, I've touched it a few times, but I've never really used it. I always just use a, hold on. I always just use a contour stick and uh, concealer, so. I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. I don't know what colors to use. I don't even know. Let's just test this out. Okay, so she's using a brush that is like a bit of contrast this. So, so the thing is, is these are like these are dried out <laughs> because they're rather old. Okay, okay. So she just goes in. Oh, 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 oh! She's going very quickly. Very quickly. Oh, 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 oh. 
to the side of my face or behind my face to be lighter than the contour. This is not creamy enough. It's very dry. Get creamy. I'm gonna keep warming it up. Warming it up. Okay, she's going under her jawline. <laughs> that was way too much. It's fine. It's fine. It's all gonna blend out. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I always base my looks off of her because I think we have the same like face type. You know what I'm saying? Like almond eyes, round face. I don't know, but she's oh, way prettier than me. Yeah, my contour is much darker than what she's using. Whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie. It's okay. We'll blend it out. It's fine. Okay, so now she's going in on the nose. I feel like I want a smaller brush to do this. Here. I'm going to use this smaller brush to do the contour on the nose. She really puts them close together. Is that close enough? Does that look close enough? It's close enough. Which <laughs> covers in the tip of her nose. Usually this is where I put the highlight. I love this technique. I always put stuff under my lip. Because I have teeny tiny lips. Are we just leaving this? We're just leaving it. We're just leaving it? Okay. Smaller flat brush. Basically this one. Okay, okay, okay. She mixes the two colors together to find her perfect shade. So, yeah, I don't really know which ones to mix together. Let's see. I'm gonna go in with this one and mix it together. I'm just making a concoction of my own. Okay, so she doesn't bring it underneath her eyes, she just puts it on her cheeks. What's the key, Pia? What is the key? What is your secret? A rainbow shape. I'm gonna take the same kind of mix between these two and actually bring that down this crease here. I have quite a deep Oh, oh, that's dark, that's dark, that's dark. So, she is just putting it everywhere. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I never finished this one. Hold on, hold on, Pia, hold on. <laughs> Drawing a line down the middle of the nose. Okay, so it's time to blend. I'm a little scared. I've never had this much product on my face before, but she seems to pull it off and make it look gorgeous, so I'm gonna try. Okay, so Beauty Blender. So she said do the light first. As you can see, I'm blending that right up into the tear duct, the inside of my eyes. Oh, 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 we're going fast. I just wish mine was creamier. Fast, 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 going fast, going fast, going fast. <laughs> oh my god. How did she do the nose? Did she like blend down? Make sure that you kind of bring that upwards rather than downwards. Okay, so that's me blended out, but as you can see, I. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I'm blending. It's actually blending out really nice. I missed the nose contour. Did that happen? Did the blending of the nose happen? Hold on. Do I look like her yet? I don't know like what to do now because... Oh, don't forget about that line we drew. <laughs> oh, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, done with the contour. Doesn't look that bad. That's not that bad. I just feel a little cakey, you know? 
but I look like snatched like like this isn't moving basically is what I'm saying so moving on White shiny. Now, in order yes to girl we are very shiny oh, shit Okay, for setting powder, I'm using the LA Girl Pro setting powder because it's white, like the one that she's using. Bring it to the surface. Okay, so she gets. I love her. I mean, this is what true beauty people do. Here we go. We're going in. Oh my god. Why didn't that work? This powder is very thin. Like it's not showing up as white as hers is. That here, kind of on the middle of my forehead. Cause that's another area where I get very shiny. Okay, same here girl, same here. Drawing a line in the middle of her nose, okay. And a little bit here. You can't see my line. You can't see my line, but I drew it. So I'm gonna go straight. Yes, can we please do eyebrows? Please. Okay, she's using pause. She's using an eyebrow pen, so I have to get an eyebrow pen. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow List Definer. It has a little spoolie and a pencil. I have powder everywhere. <laughs> oh no. Well, her eyebrows are really thick, so it's okay. I'm gonna make mine thick. I'm gonna make mine thick for once. Zooming you in. She goes for a bushy look. Am I in the shot at all? Oh, these are looking thick. These brows are thick and snatched, just like Pia's. So she's using a brow gel, so I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. And fill that in. Okay, so she's getting a bone color. So I'm gonna use this one from the Carly Bible palette. Did she put primer on her lids? I don't think she put primer on her lids. And this whole time we are baking our face. Okay, so she's bringing it in pretty close. Next, I'm going to use this Smashbox contour palette. All right, so then she's taking a contour palette. Then she's taking a contour palette, so I'm going to use this one that I got at TJ Maxx. I do the same thing. I use bronzers all the time for eyeshadow. And that's just a really nice natural bronzer. I feel like mine's a little more orange, but it's fine. <coughs> Still powder everywhere. Detailed brush. Bronzy color and blend it all the way down. For me, I have these little pockets of fat right under my eyes. And sometimes I get my makeup done and like the artist will just do eyeliner. I need to stop touching it. I need to stop touching it. I have to do a little triangle like that. And then I'm going to bring the liner to connect to that. It's a very strange thing, I know, but for some reason, a wing eyeliner. Okay, so she right takes an eyeliner. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And she says she makes a little triangle. A better, like the shape just works better with my eyes. Now, as I'm lining the water, is that kind of what she has going on? Actually, going to flick a little bit. Of okay, then she takes it underneath her eye. A little bit 
below my Why eyes. Why is there powder everywhere? <laughs> Moving on. And take an angular brush like that. Really angle brush, brush, angle brush, angle brush. She takes a smoky brown color, so I'm going to take this one. Um, this is an Amazon palette that I'm actually giving away in a giveaway right now. So she's tapping it fully right on it. This is why it didn't matter too much that my liner isn't perfect. But you do want the black kind of base there. This is actually an interesting way to go about it. I kind of like it. To like soften it rather than it be super black. I like it. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of a lighter color to do this part that she's doing. We're just smoking out on the eye. Here first is that if any of your eyeshadow drops, it's actually gonna drop straight onto the translucent powder. My camera like keeps turning off. Okay, so now she's going in and she is darkening it up. Really so I am just eyeshadow, I guess we are darkening kind of brush, everything up. I'm going to dab that on the outside of my eyes and just towards the bottom color that whole bit in. And then she and gets black. It applies that on the outside. Which is really, really pigmented. Well, I don't want to block the. It's not what I need. Now I'm going back to this. I'm going to take a little bit of that black and just put it right on the outer edge. I feel like her eye is a lot more smokier than mine, but that's okay. I don't. She's not doing this, but I need to do this. I take a big blending brush and just blend everything in seamlessly. I just have to. I have to blend it in. Okay, so it looks like she's grabbing some uh, sparkle. I am all about sparkle. Let me tell you. So then, mascara, of course. Thank goodness I can get rid of all this crap on my face. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna use the air sponge. And then really gently, bit by bit. She said gently. I am so rough with this. Flick away. Flick away. I am very mad. Very mad. I'm using the Carly Bible highlighter in gold and white because it looks like the one she's using is kind of white. My face is so soft. My camera keeps on dying. Okay, so she. And it's ready to use doing. every single time you Okay, so I have this one. It's by Rimmel, the color Kisses. I'm gonna line my lip with this. And I always overline just a little bit. Because I have no upper lip. And I like to do this little trick here So then she line. likes to draw eyes. kind of a I smile like on your face by perking up the edge actually. here. So I'm gonna give that a try. I've tried this before and every time I fail, so style just a tiny little flick at the corner here upwards in an upwards direction will mean that you don't ever have resting bitch face. <laughs> that work. You just have like a resting smile face. But it's gonna be really subtle. So you go like this. And just blend that up. So I put I like that lips, oh, lip pencil face. all over my lip. Okay, so she's taking one of her cream contours. I'm gonna get the middle one. I've never done this. This is different. I'm like, starting from the middle and blending outwards. Taps it on the middle. 
<laughs> it actually gave it a really pretty color and I think it made my lips look fuller. Did my lips just blow up after I did that? Oh my gosh. I love that trick. Thank you, Pia. Thank you. That's a good one. I did it. I really love this, this smoky eye situation going on and these lips. I just wouldn't normally go in with so much cream and contour on my face, but now I feel like my face is set and like it's not gonna change all day. <laughs> like it's it's set. Especially with all that setting powder and everything. She does herself up so she can just go all day and probably go to meetings and photo shoots and all these things and I think it's very smart. So I really like it. So if you happen to watch this, Pia, which I doubt it because I'm a nobody, uh, but I love you so much and you inspire me so much to just go after what I love and to treat people with kindness and, you know, just be vulnerable on camera, just show my bubbly side and like all these things. So just thank you, Pia, for being a role model for us, so. All right, that's everything for this video. Don't forget I have a giveaway going on. The information is gonna be below, but that's it. So I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Super contour. <laughs>